How to find a latitude longitude on an aeronautical chart. Here's an excerpt from the uh, sectional chart near Charlotte, North Carolina. The lines of long latitude, the horizontal lines, um, start here at 36 degrees north. And if you notice that there's a big grid box here, and so if you go north of 36 degrees, you'll go 36 degrees up to 36 degrees 30 minutes. So these boxes are 30 minutes by 30 minutes uh, in size. Okay, 78 degrees, 78 degrees 30 minutes, 79 degrees. So the key here is to just know that the grid boxes are 30 minutes by 30 minutes. And each tick mark are one minute increments. So here we have 78 degrees, one minute, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten minutes. So here's 78 degrees, ten minutes, 78 degrees, 20 minutes, 78 degrees, 30 minutes, 78 degrees, 40 minutes, 70 degrees, 78 degrees, 50 minutes, and then 79 degrees. Okay. So if you're trying to find a point, let's say uh, here we've got this Epsom Towers, or here near Epsom, and you want to know the latitude longitude coordinates for Epsom. Real simple, you go first latitude, the horizontal line, so you'll go up here to Epsom, you go across, and you read there, looks like it's 36 degrees, um, 10 minutes, 36 degrees, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so that goes all the way up. So Epson is at 36 degrees, 14 minutes, and drop down here, and it looks like it's at 78 degrees, 20 minutes. Okay, and so on test questions, you'll be asked um, this one way, what is the coordinates at Epson? Or another way they'll ask you is, what's located at 78 degrees, uh, 30 minutes, um, longitude and 36 degrees uh, 2 minutes north latitude and you'll notice here here's a little town and it's Youngsville so uh, either of those two methods you need to be able to find the latitude longitude coordinates and this is how you do it